Hello and welcome to Level Up Arabic Academy. This video is to tell you how articles are said in Arabic. So let's start right away. My name is Abdurrahman, you can call me Abdu. I am your Egyptian friend and now we're talking about the articles in Arabic. Articles in English are divided into definite which is the word the and indefinite which is a or an and the division is the same in Arabic. We have definite and indefinite. Just quickly what is the difference between a and an and the? If I say pick a card I want you to pick any card anyone any one of them or if I'm saying pick the card then I'm talking about a card that I know and you know and I want you to pick that exact card per se with indefinite I'm talking about anything or anyone with definite I'm talking about the one and this is in Arabic and English it's the same we have no problems so far so how do we say a or an in Arabic in Arabic to express that the word is indefinite we do not add something before it we add something after it and instead of the normal tashkil we add tanween at the end of the word so for example if i want to say a boy so instead of saying walada or waladi or waladu i say waladan waladun waladin so the n sound at the end of the word it's called tanween so if you see the word ending with a double tashkil like waladan double fatha waladun double dhamma or waladin double kasra and if this word is a noun that means that this noun is indefinite we're using something similar to a or an here, which is called tanween. If you don't know about tanween, I've explained tanween in a previous video. You'll find the link in the description and the link I think is gonna appear above me right now. So now we're done with an indefinite article. Indefinite article in English is tanween in Arabic and that's it. So let's go to the definite article, which is the in English. What is the counterpart of the in Arabic? L. L is simply two letters that we add at the beginning of the word to make it definite or to give it the definite article so now let's practice boy means walad walad with an indefinite article is waladan or waladun or waladin walad with a definite article is al walad al walad another word man it means rajul rajul with an indefinite article is rajulun or rajulin or rajulan rajul with a definite article is Ar-Rajul Ar-Rajul We've skipped pronouncing the lamb or the L sound in Ar-Rajul We did not say Al-Rajul We said Ar-Rajul And it's not just like that There's a rule for it It's called Lamb Al-Qamariya Wa Lamb Al-Shamsiya And this is another lesson If you don't know it I don't want you to think about it right now But just add L before the word So let's up the game a little bit The word land Land in Arabic means Ard It starts with an Alif Ard with an indefinite article It's Ardun Ardun Ardin and Ard with a definite article is Al Ard. You see how the Lamb and Alif are drawn? This is the combination between Lamb and Alif always. If you're still having trouble with the alphabet, if there are letters that you still do not recognize, wait for my course. I'm gonna make a comprehensive course about the alphabet, all the letters, all the cases, with all the forms, with all the tashkil. I will announce the course in a YouTube video and you'll hear about it if you press on the bell button here so you get notifications of my videos. Let's take one more example. Book means kitab. With an indefinite article, it's kitaban, kitabun, kitabin. And with a definite article, it's al-kitab, al-kitab. So here are some words, al-kitab, al-qamar, al-shams, al-ard, al-layl. And as you can see, this is very easy. So when you see al, that means that this word is definite. If you see tanween at the end of the word, if it's noun, that means that this word is indefinite. That was it. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and press on the bell because I'm going to make videos soon. Until I see you in the next video, Salam alaikum.